Right. Assalamu alaikum learners. Hope you are all well. Today we're going to be do, doing a pie graph. So we already did a tally table. We did a pictograph and we're doing now a, and we did a bar graph. So now we're going to be doing a pie graph. So a pie graph got, it's called a pie graph because it's got to do with a circle which represents a pie. And that pie, when we talk about it, we usually talk about fractions. So if you can think about a pizza, when you talk about a pizza or a pie, and then we cut it in half and we cut it in quarters, and say, okay, you know what, take half, take a quarter, or I'm gonna eat half of the pizza, I'm gonna eat quarter of the pizza. Or when you go to, uh, when you buy a pizza, a large pizza, and they cut it into eight parts, okay, then you eat one part of that one eighth. Okay, so fractions ties in what pie graph. So let's look at the example in the textbook. It says a pie chart, also called a pie graph or a circle graph, looks like a round pie cut into slices. The slices can be different sizes and show that what fraction of the whole is represented by the slice. Okay, so again, a whole pie or a whole pizza and when you, when you color in or you use up from that pie, okay, um, that represents a fraction. So if you look at the red, the blue, the orange, and the pink, it's different colors, and each one is a quarter, and each quarter, when you add it all up, makes the whole. Now, when we're looking at this information, it's basically about us being able to analyze the pie graph. Right, so let's look at this one here. Mrs. February asked her learners how they came to school that day. She made a pie chart of their responses. Now look here. A graph always has a heading. Many of you learners who send me your bar graphs, many of you forgot to put a heading, right? Every graph has a heading. Why? At a glance, I must be able to say, okay, you know what? This is what the graph is about. And this graph here, this pie graph here, it's about how learners came to school. So some came by bus, some by bicycle, by car, and some walked. Now, let's represent this here onto the whiteboard right it's like having like i say a pie if i cut it in half straight away i know this is half if i cut it into four parts i know straight away this is a quarter right if i cut it into um, the quarters into half again right then straight away i know that you know what this represents one eight but i'm going to take these other lines out because half was by bus, right? Quarter, so I'm take this lines here out, was by car. And one eight by bicycle. And one eight walked. Okay, so it's up to me to figure out what is a fraction and how do I figure out what the fraction is, is by using my existing knowledge, okay, but about knowing what is half in a quarter and then using what they've given me to further divide it to see, okay, you know what, how many parts is this divided into, or this pi divided into, okay. So if you go to the fractions, or the question, sorry, it says what fraction of the learners came to school by bus, you're going to be able to answer that. What fraction of the learners came to school by car? You're going to go there. What fraction of the learners walked to school? There you go. Did more learners ride their bicycle to school or come by, by car? So you go to bicycle and you go to car and you say, look, which part looks bigger? Which part is shaded in more? Which fraction is bigger? So you can look at it in different ways and you can clearly see that by car is shaded in more. Okay. Right. Let's go to number two. Learners were surveyed to find out their favorite sports. A pie chart was drawn to show their responses. Again, notice the heading, favorite sports. Soccer, netball, cricket, boxing, and athletics. Now, let's draw this graph as well. This graph is just slightly different from the graph, previous graph, okay? So, I'm trying to draw a nice circle there for you. Okay, we've got half that goes for soccer, and then we've got a quarter for netball. If you look at this part of the pie graph, right, it's divided into four parts. It's divided into a big part, okay, or a big pie, and two smaller parts. 
We're going to use these lines. So we're going to divide this also into half. And then we're going to use these lines as one, two, three, four, to create the rest of the pie chart. Right. So if you look also, um, this here is your cricket. Okay. And this here is your boxing. And, okay, I'm trying to get this blue to work, but it doesn't want to. So this here is your athletics. Okay. Let's, right. Another thing to notice is this is a quarter and it's divided into four parts. So that means every quarter that I have will be divided into four parts. So I'm going to use these lines to... Try to draw my pie into equal parts. Right. So if I start here and I start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have divided this pie into 16 parts. Right. So, like I said, the netball in the soccer was e easy to read off the chart. If, you, if I draw another one here, right, this was soccer. That was netball. That was easy to read off the pie graph. Now let's look at cricket. If this whole thing is divided into 16 parts, right? 16 parts. This whole pie is divided into 16. Cricket is taking two parts. So 2 over 16 is how many, is what fraction cricket represents. If you look at boxing, right? It's taking one part. So boxing, I'm going to write it here will represent 1 over 16 from the whole graph, okay? Now let's go to the questions. What fraction of the learners said that netball was a favorite sport? Easy to identify. What sport did half of the learners say was a favorite? Half of the learners, easy to identify. What sport did one quarter of the learners say was a favorite? Quarter is 1 over 4. What fraction said that boxing was a favorite sport? So we, I showed you on the whiteboard how to, how to figure out what fraction. And then arrange the sports in order from the most popular to the least popular. So we obviously looking at the graph, we can see most popular to least popular. Okay. Um, that's all for pie graphs. And now we're going to go on to reading information of table. So this is another kind of a graph. Right, And this information, basically when we look at this information, we must be able to analyze this information. So it says, look at the table of learning's afternoon activities for one week and answer the questions that follow. It gives a date, it gives an activity, and it gives a place. So we must be able to look at this table and be able to answer questions of this table. It's called analyzing information. Right, so it says, What activity does Lundy do on a Wednesday? So I'm going to go to Wednesday, I'm going to go to activity and see what does she do. Where does Lundy do athletics? A place where, where is a place? So I'm going to go to athletics and I'm going to see where does she do it. Okay, on which days does Lundy go swimming? So when you look, you see she goes on a Monday, so then she goes on a Monday only. On which days does Lindy go to gymnastics? Go through all her activities because as you can see, gymnastics is two days. Swimming is one day. Piano lessons, one day. Athletics is two days. Okay? So you're going to answer these questions off this table. Okay? Mm. That's all. Jazakallah.